So I'm Dr. Amit Dahl. Uh, I'm a consultant hepatologist here at One Wellbeck. I'm also the lead for liver services at Imperial College NHS Trust. Good morning. My name is Dr. Deepak Suri. I'm a consultant liver specialist and consultant gastroenterologist. I work at One Wellbeck, but also on the NHS. I work at the Whittington Hospital in North London and UCL Hospitals. So a fibre scan is a non-invasive test that gives us an indication of liver health. It will tell us two really important, uh, it will answer two really important questions. Firstly, is there any scarring or damage to the liver? And secondly, is there any significant fat within the liver as well? Essentially anybody uh, who has liver disease or the suspicion of liver disease needs a fibre scan. Uh, the fibre scan allows us to quantify if there's any scarring in the liver, which is the consequence of chronic liver disease. It also allows us to quantify how fatty the liver is, so it'll tell us whether the liver is indeed excessively fatty. So anybody with the suspicion of a fatty liver or with chronic liver disease in which they may uh, develop scarring, should have a fibre scan conditions such as uh, weight gain leading to fatty liver disease, exa, excel, excess alcohol intake, uh, a family history of liver disease including autoimmune conditions, a history of viral hepatitis such as hepatitis B or C or metabolic conditions such as uh, excess iron in the body, such as hemochromatosis, or excess copper in the body, such as Wilson's disease. Uh, all these conditions need to be screened for underlying liver disease and scarring, and the fibre scan is a very good non-invasive tool to measure that. Uh, so the preparation of the fibre scan is, is relatively simple. One has to be fasted for, from solids uh, for uh, three hours. The patient is allowed to have liquids including tea, coffee, water uh, during that period. The reason why you have to be fasted from solids for that period is because uh, eating solids within a short period before a fibre scan can falsely elevate the liver stiffness measurement and give us a false reading with regards to whether you have scarring or not. So this is the fibre scan machine. Um, very straightforward, there's a screen here, there's a keyboard and there's two probes. This is how the patient has to come in and lie down. Two simple things we ask the patient to do. Number one, uh, if you could please cross your right leg over the left one, that's fine. Number two, please put your right forearm behind your head out of the way, that's fine. And that obviously you can imagine gives us very good access to the ribs. Your liver is on the right side here. Uh, it, it will obviously lift up the shirt and then use one of these two probes that we've got, uh, apply that to the skin, take 10 readings before we get an answer. Now there are two probes. Um, one is the medium probe, one is for the a large probe and that uh, the large probe is very useful if we have to try and get further measurements deeper inside the liver, uh, which we do in some patients. At the end of the test, we'll have some results like this. Just to give you an idea, um, the key numbers to look at here are the orange one over here. That number tells us about stiffness or scarring of the liver. And the blue one on the left tells us about the degree of fat in the liver. And then we can give the patient an answer as to how much scarring there is, if any, and how much fat in the liver there is. When to seek help, the procedure itself is painless, as I said, there are no real complications as such. Um, if you have concerns about your liver disease, perhaps there's a strong history of alcohol consumption, family history of liver disease, if you've had some blood tests done for some other reason, perhaps the liver tests are abnormal, please come to us. We'll assess you fully and the fibre scan will be part of that assessment.